Hello everyone, welcome to the episode of JNG Garage where we have no garage today. We are uh, fucking outside. It's 50 degrees out. Super cold. My hands are numb. I mean, the sun's helping a little, but it's still really cold out. But today is the day. I've been hyping this up. I've been saying we're going to start a project. This 2017. It's not going to be the BMW. It's not going to be the Mercedes. I've been talking about a project. And you guys will probably see what it's down in the description or whatever the fucking title of the video is. You guys will probably see whatever the title of the video is. But if you don't know exactly what that is, all I can quite say is to me, this is probably one of the British best. This is probably one of the best thing British the UK, United Kingdom, British, British people, I don't fucking know. This is probably the best thing they've ever put out, personally. Nothing else compares to it. One of my favorite body styles. One of my, just, uh, I love everything about this car. I love every style of them, every made. You guys are probably going, oh, what the fuck is he talking about? I am talking about a 1974 MGB GT. Uh, yeah, guys, so I'm pretty stoked. Let's get into it. There's a lot of really cool, exciting things about this car. I want to talk about some shit. Uh, but yeah, let me, let me, let me go ahead and show around. Let me, let me go ahead and show you around the car, and then we'll come back here, and I'll explain some stuff what's going to be happening with the car. So, uh, let's get into it. I always do this, guys, and I'm really sorry about this, but let me give you some backstory about this car. Uh, this was my dad's car. He bought this back in August 97, uh, 1997, which was about two weeks before I was born, so I'm guessing around August 15th or something. I was born, or sorry, 15th, probably, eh, anyway. Anyway, he bought this car. He drove it for five, six, seven years. As a child, I remember running out almost every single day in my diapers. I know ugh, when I was like one or two years old, actually probably younger than that, when did I start walking? I don't know, when I was super fucking little, I can't remember, uh, running out here in this car, coming down the road, running out, jumping in. My dad just, I have so many memories. I love this car so much. And honestly, with, with my dad giving over this car to me, it is such an honor to be able to have something passed down to me that I have so much memories and so much love for this car. Uh, and I pretty much, I grew up in this car. I didn't quite grow up in, I didn't quite grow up in this car, but I spent a lot, a lot of years looking over, drooling over this car. I have just so much love and respect for this thing. But, 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 let's finally get in to showing you around the car. Now a lot of you guys are, don't really fucking care about the backstory. You guys really just... Alright guys, this is my new... 1974 MGB GT. It's pretty simple, not dense here and there, but then again, my dad's owned this for years and years and years. It needs a lot of work. I gotta replace, uh, I gotta replace the hood, uh, the hood, uh, what the fuck you call it? I don't even know what you call those hood latches, I think. Uh, needs new tires. Uh, that's actually a brand new, not a brand new tire, brand used tire. I am, but I am switching off these rims. Uh, talk to guy, these are 14 inches. I think I'm gonna switch over to 13. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna switch over to 13 inches. Kind of nice rims, he wants, pretty cheap. But uh, looking at those, needs new, uh, needs new mirror. Uh, let's see, what else does it need? Need new paint, obviously. Needs new tire. As you can see, MGB. Sorry for the weird fucking camera shit. Uh, I'm a little tired right now, a little exhausted. I wanna get some new tint for it, cause the tint's pretty old. Some paint. This is one t back tire, and they're all, the other reason why I want to switch out these um, these tires is uh, they're really, really, really weird uh, size that no one makes them anymore. They're like 14 by 16, which are really small, but they're such wide tires. It's it's crazy. I don't know, but uh, yeah, guys, this is her. Let's go ahead on the inside. Let's show you guys the interior. Uh, the interior, if if it goes through, the interior was actually redone about four years ago. Brand new upholstery, uh, dent that was redone. There's tools, carpet's still good. Let me go ahead and just take a seat inside. Uh, not a, actually, a, not a real her shifter, but whatever. It's what my dad did years and years and years ago. No air conditioning, all gauges. Don't know what buttons do. Fan doesn't work. Don't know what the hell that is. Uh, interior on off. Defrost. Oh, that's to the back uh, thing. That probably doesn't work anymore. Uh, probably went to the cooler. Gauges. Uh, dash is cracked, which I actually. Well, let's focus in there for a second. Dash is cracked, but um, I, there's repair kits out there. I'm gonna get 
Luckily, the top part, none of that's cracked. As you guys can see, it's all pretty well maintained. Uh, headliner is different color than everything else. As you can see, it kind of fell apart. This is, uh, I don't know if you guys can see with the, with the weird lighting. Uh, that's been, that's falling off. Definitely needs new sealers and everything. That's all kind of rotting away. Actually, this side's pretty good. This side's pretty good, but it still needs it. Uh, I need to find a um, window crank. Uh, this door, the thing usually falls off. There's like a clip or something that usually falls off. So you can get stuck in this car a lot. Uh, what else is there? I uh, need new seat belts. Uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm gonna do a, a harness. Do a harness bar. Uh, I have a guy that's willing to sell me uh, a full harness kit for like a hundred bucks. Really nice, uh, discontinued ones, but just something to really just do the job. Uh, original uh, original steering wheel. I don't know if I'm gonna switch out the steering wheel or not. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I think it'd be kind of nice to have something a bit smaller, something more sporty. Uh, what else? Oh shit. Um, I gotta relearn stick because I haven't driven stick in like fucking. I haven't driven a stick in like six years. I haven't driven sticks since I was like 10. So that was like nine years, nine, 10 years I haven't driven stick. So I gotta completely relearn stick. Uh, gotta get, oh shit, camera's falling over. <coughs> gotta get a new rear board. Uh, battery's brand new. Just switched out that connector because I was having connecting issues. Uh, I'm also gonna switch out that one too. As you can see the giant hole in the floor, but you know, whatever. Uh, fucking that's it, but let's really get into the, probably the best part about this car. And just, I don't know, this is hands down the best part about this car. Now for a lot of MG lovers out there, uh, this does not have the stock engine. I can't quite remember where these come with like the, with the inline four, I think the inline three or the inline four. I, th I think I'm thinking of Spitfires with the inline three, but one of the best things this car has and I don't know who did it, my dad didn't do it, but he bought the car this way. Has a 1974 Mercury Caprice, is it Capri or Caprice, 2.8 liter V6. This thing is a fucking monster of a car. This thing will rip you up and not give any shits, and that's like the best thing about this car. I mean, I seriously, I just don't know how to explain how fucking awesome this car is. I grew up in it. This is not a slow car. This is a really fast, loud car. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to really say about this. This is hands down one of the best things I think they ever could have done. The nice part about it is it's, it's a German engine, or sorry, it's a British engine in a British car, which I thought that was kind of uh, cool. Uh, that's where the Mercury Caprice, it was built in the UK because the 74 Caprice was a primarily UK car. It was, it, was a, it was an American car shipped over to the UK, if I think I have this right. Uh, shipped over to the UK with a UK engine. It, it was like a collaborative, like America made the, made the chassis, but the, the UK, the United Kingdom made the engine. All right guys, so technically it's the next day because my, uh, my computer likes corrupting files. And so yeah, I gotta completely record the last bit. But yeah, pretty much that's it for the car. It needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of stuff put back onto it. It's pretty much all complete. And also one thing I said, one thing I forgot to say, it has no brakes. This car needs a full new brake job. It's like I can press down on it right now. Nothing, no brakes. So uh, needs the brakes redone, which I shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too expensive. I know how to do that kind of stuff. Um, it needs new tires, looking at rims, uh, need to get that backboard done. So it just needs a whole bunch of stuff. But it's nice and finally know that we have an official j, &J Garage project, which hope you guys get excited. Hope you guys like MGs. Hope, hopefully you get, this is something different up on YouTube that a lot of people haven't seen. But yeah, guys, um, this door is broken again, and so I can't get out. So now I got to figure out how to get out of this car because I can't get out because the thing's broken. So this is Jane's garage. We have no garage. Don't forget to like that. Don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Possibly subscribe if you want. I hate doing that kind of stuff. Call out for subs, but smash that like button and comment if you uh, have any questions or have any suggestions, guys. But for the 80th time, this is Jane's garage. We have no garage. I'll see you when I see you. Peace, I just flipped off the camera. <laughs>